can't wait to meet you. I know. Can you believe they were dumped like that? I don't know what's wrong with people. He looks fantastic. Hi, boo. Otis. Hello, Otis. Come here. Wouldn't even know he's, he's a different. He's a different dog. Let me see. Yes, I so they took, I wow, you. it's hard to say how they do it. Odie, let me see. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, hello, little man. Oh. Could you get any louder? I'm going to call the police in two seconds. These people are like, they think they live where nobody else lives. They have no respect for anybody around them. Do you hear this music? It's like, listen to the music. I'm, I'm calling the police. I am. I'm going to, it's a noise ordinance. Guys, sorry. I'm just, my, my uh, patients are, are gone. They're gone. Shot. Hi, everybody. Let's start fresh. Let's start fresh. <laughs> This is Amy with Shelly and Keith. I'm here at house two. Hi, Odie. Come on up. What are you doing? Otis was picked up from, they're so ignorant. Dawn, I can't even, can't even. Welcome to our world. I know, right? There's just no peace. It's either the fireworks or blasting music. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, you're getting kisses. Hi, Otis. He can eat fine, right? He's, he's doing great. Gobbling. Yes, he's starving. So good. He's on a little fentanyl patch, and that. When does that? Tonight. Awesome. And then he's on all oral. What a great save, everybody that's jumping on. This is Otis. Sorry about the pounding music in the background because if I start really screaming, it won't be pretty. So when I hang up and I shut down this video trust me it's not going to be pretty um but otis was picked up today shelly and keith picked her picked him up from the leader animal hospital where he received his life-saving surgery with dr eunice and it's because it's soft he liked my shirt he was so excited when they reached out to me because he ate on his own and he did great he's peeing and pooping on his own you know, guys, he could really use a loving home. There's no reason for him to be here in a pen. Um, that's where he is right now because we're so full. Uh, hi, monkey. Look at you. Let me see. I'm trying to see that little face. You're so cute. Oh, you're so special. Are you being shy? Sorry, baby. Are you shy, Otis? He has the stitches. They need to come out in, I think, what, 10 days or something? Two weeks for the stitches, but they had to remove the bottom portion of the jaw. Um, but you can't tell, he looks adorable. Those, see, those are my special battle scars that I made it. I nice made it. Tomorrow. Oh my nice goodness. Tomorrow. We've had a very, very busy few days, as you know, with, with Otis. Um, I'll go in after I do an Otis update, I'll go in. His jaw's great, it's perfect. The healing time is, is going to be great. Um, he's eating fine. He's a normal dog. He just can't have a lot of activity for about six to eight weeks. You know, no running, jumping, playing with other dogs right now. Uh, he needs a quiet place. He's very busy, as you can see. Good boy. He's a little living doll, right? Yes, they had to remove the bottom portion. See how loving he is? He just wants love. Um, they had to remove the bottom portion of the jaw. I'm going to try to get in while Keith is holding him, but he seems a little camera shy. See, he can even give kisses. See, I can even give kisses. Yes, he is hypoallergenic. He is a non-shedding baby. And he's three years. What's that on your nose? Let me get that. I got it. I got it, Otis. You're very shy. He's about three years of age. Um, is he neutered or no? I don't think so. Is he have balls? He has balls, right? Just feel, yeah, he has balls. Yeah, he got balls. We gotta neuter him. How about accidents in the house? Nothing. 
So he's had no accidents. He's perfect. 10 pounds. It's adorable. So Isn't if that you. Amazing that the, what his genetics are? Oh, he's a, a Maltese, Maltese schnauzer, schnauzer and, a and a little poodle. So he's a Maltese schnauzer and a little poodle. That's what Otis is. All hypoallergenic, non shedding. It's amazing. Amazing. This is Otis. You remember the photo that I shared with all of you with the jaw that was completely hanging? He couldn't close his mouth. He couldn't eat. He was hit by a car and they gave him a last call. They were going to euthanize him. No, he doesn't have any chip. Doesn't belong to anybody. So if anybody's interested in offering this sweet little boy a loving home, he's running around, he's just enjoying his life now out of pain. It's amazing. Thank you for saving him, Renee. Thank every one of you that donated. This surgery was over $5,000 and it was the best five. I'll say it every time. You know, you look at Sparrow and, and Otis. I mean, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Everybody, there's your update. Hi, monkey. Hi. Oh, it is. He is camera shy. Definitely. Yeah. Very. Here up. No. Good job. You're perfect. Okay, so if anybody's interested, please reach out to us. We have a very full house here. It's a little overwhelming. Look at him drinking. Good job. He's like, I can drink, I can eat. My mouth is not wide open and in pain. No luck, I can't even talk about Blanche. I just left there, I've been there all day. There's still people out there. We have the ranger, park ranger out there till nine. She said she has found so many dogs that she's an animal lover. So she has my, my phone number. Um, if she sees anything, no matter what time of day, then she will reach out to me. I'm five, six minutes away from the park, so. Thank you, Lorraine, Gidget's mommy. Hi, Lorraine, I finally catch you on here. He has a fentanyl patch. Yes, that's a fentanyl patch, it's her pain. It comes off tonight, it's the last day today. I know, everybody adores Keith. Shelly's like, she was so excited to pick him up and he went right over to Keith when they were driving. We did not find Blanche. We did not find Blanche. Good boy, he's sniffing everything out. Isn't he adorable? So again, he's a Shih Tzu, I'm sorry, Maltese, Poodle, and Schnauzer mix. Nice, sweetheart. Oh, he's such a good boy. Such a good boy. I'm so happy you're okay. You know, I'm so sorry about Blanche. We're sick. We're not giving up. They're still out there. They said they, yesterday, there were some kids there that said they spotted her in the neighborhood. So we were in the neighborhood. We didn't see anything. Yep. Otis eats perfect. He eats absolutely perfect. So he's really ready to go to a home. He really is. There's no reason he needs to stay here in a pen. You ready, bud? He's ready. Okay, let's do it. He knows what he wants. Oh, check it all out. Wilbur popped our pool, so now our big pool, our human pool is trash. Wilbur's. Yeah, everybody's gonna pee on it. Keith just washed it off, it's going in the trash. Come on, Bobo. Good boy. Come on. Good boy, baby. Chicken cooking for the dogs. Look at Uncle Keith and Shelly, look at that. I hate the smell, but it's wonderful. Yeah. Hi, Jonas. Jonas, CP, CP. Tail, 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 Jonah, Jonah. Jonah, Jonah. Hi. So, this is where we have to put Otis because we're full. So, we have this big pen area with cushy beds and toys and his food bowls. Fortunately, he has there. to be next to Binky, the loud mouth, but... And then there's... Hi, Bubbly! Hi, baby boy! Hi, handsome! 
Hi, Bubbly. He's such a good boy. He doesn't make a peep, Bubbly. He's also available for adoption. He's a Shih Tzu. Good boy. Angelo sleeping. <laughs> Is that you, Otis? Don't cry. I know you need to be in a home. So as you can see, guys, we really need him in a home. He does not need to be here. We no, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, Monkey. No, Bubbly came back. You must have missed it. She couldn't handle him because he's not an affectionate dog. Well, the dog never received affection. How is he supposed to know how to give affection? She gave it less than 24 hours. Don't get me started. And you want to know why I don't ship and transport. Could you imagine if we allowed Bubbly to go out of state and they sounded so perfect? And then all of a sudden we get the call the next morning that she can't do it. She's got to bring it back. Hi, gorgeous girl. Where's my sparrow? Come on. I know you can get up here on this big cushy bed that was donated for you. <gasps> Come on, guys. We actually had about five cushy beds donated, so I don't know who's who, but this one's in here now, and it, oh my God, I could sleep in here. Oh my goodness, it's so, <gasps> you got the best bed in the house he, that's Otis crying he doesn't want to be alone who can foster Otis somebody who has a quiet home in a fenced yard anybody <gasps> Sparrow where did you go there you are there's my baby girl so quiet and perfect and just delicious I could kiss your face off I could kiss his face off I love you <laughs> Thank you. Can I have more? <gasps> Let's show everybody how we kiss and make out. You all jealous? <laughs> These are the good things in rescue. That's the good stuff in rescue, right? Come on. Come. Come on. Aki. Vamanos. Come on. Vamanos. Let me. Come. Come. Come on. We desperately need fosters. We need fosters for Otis. We need a foster for Bubbly. Um, who else? Foster for Angelo. We need fosters. We need to make room. We are bursting at the seams. Thank God for Zoe. Zoe took the two adorable. What do you think of those names I gave them? Crimson and Clover. Really cute. Two little babies that uh, were dumped in a frickin' parking lot in Hialeah. With a blanket. Is that, to, is that supposed to ease their conscience? A pink blanket? Dumping two little dogs that are covered in hundreds and hundreds of ticks? I just can't. Can't. Uh, no, I don't, I don't... I'm not accepting new friends on my personal Facebook page. Um, I actually am at my limit. And I really do not engage on social media except for 100+. plus. I am not on social media... To engage. Um, the only thing I post is dogs or cats or pigs. Um, occasionally I'll post something about myself and Carol and my personal dogs, but I do not engage on social media through private messenger. If you need something, please email us at 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com. Uh, we also have that's that's Otis crying. He doesn't want to be alone. That's why I'm begging for a foster. So we had a choice. We knew we didn't have space. We knew that we were full, and we knew we'd be in the hospital, and we knew we'd be having surgery, and uh, we were hoping we'd have a room for him open, but it's not the case. So either um, he would have stayed in the kill shelter and been dead, or we pulled him when we did and gave him life-saving surgery, and he has to be in a round pen where he's taken out every half hour on the hour, uh, where somebody loves him and people you know, cuddle him and feed him and take care of him and then he can find his forever home. So we do the best that we can. Um, unless somebody can do better and offer us a home or a foster, 
please refrain. Please, I saw, I saw some comment, I think it's somebody that doesn't even follow us and said, why is there a dog in a bathroom with a toilet? Well, if you want to call this a, a, a tough spot for a dog, um, our little sparrow has her own Alexa. She has her washable pad. She's on the floor with three different fluffy rugs for grip. She's on a memory foam, thick, huge mattress. Say, I'm pretty happy, right, Mama? Look at how thick my bed is. Look at that. So I would say she is very, very comfortable um, while she is recuperating. We have to carry her outside. And yes, she's taking steps. The doctor I spoke to, Dr. Reese, he said it's very normal. Give it about 10 days and then we start doing therapy. She will be a, a perfect dog. She will walk and she will run. She will run and she will be a normal dog. Hey, mommy. And say, I'm just a baby. I'm just a little bit, whoops. I'm just a little under here, I'm just a baby. Sparrow was hit by a car left for dead in the Everglades of Miami. Yes, what has happened to humanity? Is the question over and over again we keep asking. And there's our little Sparrow. It's my beautiful girl. I know, Otis, I'm trying to beg for a foster of forever home for you, you're so perfect. You just got here like an hour ago. I know you want your own room, you want your own house. See, I want my own family, Amy. I want my own family. I don't want to be here. Not that I don't love you, but I want my own home. And I want to show everybody. So it was Wilbur's one year birthday. Um, and our awesome volunteer, hi Otis. Our awesome volunteer came and decorated happy birthday with piggies. And <laughs> Wilbur has blow up plastic piggies right here and she made us a huge strawberry cheesecake ice cream cake and it says happy birthday Wilbur. We're planning on celebrating his birthday today unfortunately with everything going on with Blanche and running around that was not didn't work out. Okay so Bryson and Waldo are outside. Oh, I just wanted to... Hi, boy! Hi! There you are, monkey... Hi, Bright Bright! Hi, Waddles! Come see me! Come on, come, 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 come! Let's go play, play, play! Go run, run! Run, run! Hi! Hi! Run! Run! So happy they are. So that's it, guys. Um, fosters need to be local. Um, you know, they can't be out of, out of state, obviously, and you can't be hours and hours away for doctor's appointments, but um, half hour, 40 minutes is fine. Awesome. Uh, just getting a text message. I received a text uh, earlier this morning. It was very disturbing about um, a dog that was living on a balcony 24-7 in Miami, and um, I spent basically a couple of hours on the phone reaching out to management um, and basically telling them that if they do not bring that dog and do the right thing, that we're going to blast their company and they're going to be bombarded with phone calls, the police, the media. Uh, she called me back and the dog is now inside. They're going to keep watch on the dog. I mean, these people, why do you even have a dog if you're going to leave it on a balcony 24 hours a day? Just don't get it. So we'll keep uh, tabs on that. Another dog is brought inside, not living outside in the heat. Just stupid. Just stupid. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. We're going to go get some love in here. Um, let me call it a day. It's Waldo with Uncle Keith. And then there's Bri Bri with Shell Shell. We're going to go enjoy a little glass of wine, catch up. And hopefully there will be no more fireworks tonight. Please, dear God, please. And everybody say a prayer that we can find our Blanche. And please, if anybody can offer a foster home for... Otis or Bubbly, <clears throat> um, you know, please, Angelo, please reach out to us at 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com. Did Keith put anything in the chicken? No, it's all natural for the dogs. Little chicken broth. Right, Keith? All chicken. All natural. All right, guys, signing off. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.